Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round three of seven here for this SCG Super IQ hosted by Nerd Rage Gaming. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, my co-host, Matt Dow. And we're going to get into the action here as we've got Natalia playing Grixis Delver versus Caleb Schur playing Storm. He's not going to have two poison, though. No, he's not. There is no poison in this match, Matt Dow. There is only Storm. Now, this is the deck I have built for Modern. And I'm pretty interested to see how his plays out. I like Storm. I think Storm is pretty well positioned, actually. Really? Uh, yeah. I remember when I built the deck, you were like, you idiot, that deck's not good. And well, yeah, I think, wasn't. actually, you said it multiple times. <laughs> so you realize, though, that when you build a deck, it doesn't have to be good then. You can just have the deck and wait till it gets good. But what if it never gets good? Oh, then you're playing Food Chain and Legacy. <laughs> and you're Tommy Tomsvik, so... Yeah, but that's probably proxy. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> Caleb is going to mulligan, but I think it's good because I think it's good against Tron, and I think it's good against Amulet Bloom. I agree. Uh, I, I like the idea. good against Jund. <laughs> um, no, probably not. I don't their, think it's very good against the, De pretty... the Delver decks. Okay. They have a clock. They have counter spells. Yeah, very true. Uh, so that's kind of bad for you, but we'll see. see. Natalia on that Grixis Delver, though. Yeah, I think this is also a pretty good deck. Uh, you like this one? Some Anglers and some Taskers. Do I like this deck? No, yeah. I don't like this you deck. You don't like Grixis Delver? No. Why not? No. I'm more of a, like... I don't know. I don't like the Tassiger, Gurmag Angler. Gurmag Angler is sweet, but I don't really like Tassiger. How do you feel about those Hooting Mandrills? That card's sweet, too. That Hooting Mandrills is super sweet. So we're going to see a uh, Gedaxian probe popped off here by Caleb. Oh, man. Evil Ben Sliwa in the chat now. Decided to join us here. Took Thank a little time off from watching the SCG stream and flaunting over Patrick Javen. <laughs> he should show up to the event. He should have showed up to played the event. Played his Abzan aggro deck. He could, probably could have just played it here and might have done well. Nah, probably would have got crushed, but <laughs> at least it would have been funny. Alright, sleight of hand. Some portal second age sleight of hands, so those are sweet. They're, They're like sweet. six bucks. I had one. I lost it. Kind of made me sad. Really? Now I gotta use those disgusting 7th edition white bordered ones. Just sharpie the border in. <laughs> There's a Delver from Natalia. She will go to 18 and pass back to Caleb. I believe there was no permission in her hand, though, hmm. uh, when Caleb uh, Gitaxian probed her. Seems dangerous. So, see if Caleb can uh, turn three or... I don't... Can a Storm Deck turn two people? I think it can, but it's, like, super narrow. Uh, no, I don't believe it can. I... Th I think turn three is your limit. I think if you have, like, Simeon Spirit Guide, you can. Simeon Spirit Guide, yes, you can. I'm, I'm sorry, is he playing that version, or is he playing uh, Pyromancer's Ascension? He has Pyromancer's Ascension, okay. but you can still play a Simeon Spirit Guide, could you It's not? not the best. So this allows you to go with a... If you have Pyromancer's Ascension in a way to generate mana, mm -hmm. this almost gives you a turn three kill, because Goblin, uh, Goblin Electromancer is played essentially to start cutting your turns down, right? Yeah. Like, he just enables you to go off faster. Well, is the, that a blind Delver flip? The, yeah, the Delver I mean, this is modern. Delver uh, that's, does that's it very true. often. It just happens all the time. Yeah. So there's a probe. Uh, Natalia's going to pay life, going to go to 16 after the Delver flips off the probe she drew. I think we have uh, Sleight of Hand, Pass in Flames, Thought Scour, and a Ritual. Pyrenic Ritual, I believe. So not the greatest hand from Caleb. Does he have main board empty the warrens? Does he have main board empty the warrens? The answer is no. Okay, so he's he's in it straight for the the grape shot then. Yeah, he's in it to grape shot. And I agree. That's that's the version I play as well. But once again, you get stuck with these weird hands, kind of like the the hand Caleb has now, where we need to. Whoa! It's it says probe. It does say modern. Am I... Down to fourteen. Thank you, Jeff the Magic Goat. So I wonder if the play is to just terminate this Electromancer. Well, I don't want him sitting around. Yeah. I don't know about you, but if I have removal in my hand that I can use, I'd, well, I'd want to use it. Looks like it's going to live. Talia should be at 14. She has Gitaxian probed twice and shocked. So 14 to 14. There is another shock land. On a 12. On a 12. No fear. It's a second Delver and a pass back. Interesting. So let's see what Caleb can draw here. A land I think would be ideal. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. That looks like he drew a Desperate Ravings. So here's a thought, uh, sleight of hand. Sees a land. There's a land. And, and a, a man man morph. Morph. Oh, Shoot, that sucks. That card's super good in these situations. I mean, just to be able to start so funneling your mana back and forth. Can we py Pyretic Ritual? 
Makes some mana. So Pyrex Ritual makes three mana, right? Correct, three red. Storm Count will be at two. He will have three red. Boom, I like it. Hey, right, good, good plays by them. And there's blue. Sweet. Man, these guys are thinking on their feet. So we have three red floating. Storm count of two. Can Manamorphose. Yep. Make, I imagine, some blue mana with our red mana. Make two blue, draw a card. There's That's a good one. Ritual. Well, he had the Desperate Ritual. He drew he had the, the Pyretic Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Yeah, he drew the he Desperate Ritual. So he can Thought Scour himself, and then Desperate Ravings also. Flashback on Desperate Ravings is... Oh, jeez. So oh, my rage. gosh. And just completely rewarded with the Thought Scour. Yep. Cast Pass in Flames. Uh-huh. Yes, Desperate Ravings. Fills the yard up. Does it draw two, discard one at random? Nope. Yeah, well, yes. Draw yeah. two, discard one at random. Four. Slide of hand. What do we draw? Oh, oh man. That's a fetch. That's okay. Alright, now I'll just flash it back. It does have to be careful, though. The Desperate Ravings does not have flashback granted by the Pass in Flames. Correct. Is the only thing. I don't know... I don't know if that necessarily matters... But so I think you have to flashback the rituals. Um, yeah. And manamorphose for some blue mana and start cantripping into grape shot. So I think what I do here. Uh, okay, so he's gonna take a different approach. He's gonna sleight of hand. I don't know if I necessarily. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh well, he's got he's got electromancer, so he's fine. Yeah. So yeah, we we start chaining the rituals. We'll build up red mana. Then we can chain our manamorphose, yep. and uh, just attack it that way. This deck is sweet. It's very. This I think is the combo decks that I like in. In, in modern, I don't think it's like I am furious. <laughs> I am so mad right now. Are I, you I, kidding me? Because you were like, Andrew, this deck is terrible. You kept telling me how bad it was. You're like, ugh, I can't even believe you're playing this. When you slot. played it, it was terrible. You what do you mean? When you played it, it was so bad. I don't remember what metagame it you were playing. It didn't in. even. It didn't even matter because I just built the deck. I didn't even play it in a tournament. I just had it built, and you were still like, ugh, ugh, black. I just can't even imagine this. And now we got beep boop robot. My <laughs> anger is fueling this robot. <laughs> So oh. bad. Just terrible. God, I'm furious. Ooh, cast it with passing flames on the stack. DMD Bari knows what's up. I mean, it, regardless, I, I don't think it necessarily matters. I mean, but he still needs to find a way to kill. Uh, I think that's going to happen. Yeah, There's a ritual still, again. Still, in, still haven't found a way to kill her, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we... Okay, still have Manamorphose. Yep. God, that card is so good. Yeah, it is. Storm counts at 13. <clears throat> There's oh, another land. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is not... Snap it off. It's going to be a grape shot. Oh, good. Mill the land. Didn't want that one. Oh. Caleb said, I'm trying to keep this all in order. Oh, oh there's a good There shot. it is. Oh, man. He that, may actually have enough mana to, like, or enough rituals to just ritual, ritual, flashback, pass, and flames kill you. Yes. I think that's probably what he's doing here. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's a ritual. What did he, what was the you. other card he drew? Uh, he's drawn a bunch of lands. No, the the one he has in hand, did, was that a land he drew off the top there, or was it? Uh, yeah, he drew a Steam Vents. And yeah, then Grape Shot you for game. Yeah. That's it, baby. Boom, get Storm. Dang! So what was that? That was turn three, correct? Turn three, yep. So uh, I think turn three is our maximum maximum reach, right? Cause no, you could turn two somebody, I think. I still think there's a way to turn two somebody. Um, really? We should we should figure that out. I uh, That was a good game, though. That was, that was pretty strong. I feel like... Caleb going to take game one. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, because we can't make mana. That's the problem. If we cast Pyromancer's Ascension, there's no way to get it out before turn two. Two, and then like I could, there's yeah, we just would draw a bunch of cards if we had probes in the yard and probe started probing people, and we'd never make. Electromancer is essentially what enables you for the turn three, yeah. right? So that's that's what we're reaching for. Let's hit those sideboards up. 
All as right. the players begin to sideboard themselves. Natalia, she has a spell skate, a blood moon, a monastery siege, an is it static caster, a combust, a Coligan's command, a smash to smithereens, two self inflicted wound, one Vendillion click, one counterflux, one negate, one spell pierce, two dispel. So cards that I think are good in this matchup are Vendillion click, counterflux, negate, spell pierce, dispel. Uh, Monastery siege. Mm, no. Now, if we cast Grape Shot, do we need to pay for every copy then? I don't no, think so. We, we don't. Only need to pay we the... need to pay just for the Storm copy? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I Monastery don't... Siege might be decent if we just are digging for our counter spells. Yeah. I, I just also don't know if he had the mana then to cast... I don't know if he could have made more mana that... I think he could have. I think really? he had a Did he have a mana yeah, yeah, I think he had like I think he just had a bunch of rituals in his Well, yard. he did, but he, he... So he was left with two mana. He flashed back all three, the two Pyretics... Or, I'm sorry, the one Pyretic and then the two... Desperate uh, Rituals? Desperate Rituals. So he made the mana, then cast Past in Flames with Flashback, yeah. using five, had yeah. two left over, one red, one blue, and then used it for Grape Shot. But you're right, that's that's completely circumstantial. So Yeah, I don't, I don't, it might be fine just to dig for Counter Spells. Counter, I think the Counterflux here is amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> Counterflux, blah, it's nuts. Caleb, he has four Lightning Bolts, four yep. Blood Moons, three Empty the Warrens, three Shatter Storms, and one Echoing Truth. I think Ooh. Lightning Bolts are probably fine. Surprising he chose not to run Defense Grid in the sideboard. Does that card seem <laughs> really good right now in the format? I don't know how many, like, Counterspell decks there are. I guess what? Twin and Delver. What? We just talked about how many Counterspell decks there are. There's a bunch of them now. There's Twin and Delver. Right. And then there's Blue-White, which is seeing play today from well, that, Mr. Hoogland. I mean, he's 0-2. So. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just pointing that. Oh, you got the round two notables too. I Anyways, I think I think defense grid is at least like a. I think it's defensible. A, <laughs> ooh, look at you! I think it's it, taking a consideration card. I don't know. I think the only card I like here is lightning bolt, just to try to keep me alive. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Empty the Warren's not bad here either. She doesn't really have a way to clean up a lot of the creatures. Unless she brings an is it static caster? Then she does. I got Is It Santa Caster at the Invitational. I was not happy. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Card's real good against Infect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, card's kind of making a return to play in Cyborgs recently. It's sweet. It's one of my favorite cards. Saw a ton of play in Legacy, like, a little bit after RTR rotated. People brought it in there. And, yeah. uh, it's good against Elves and Death and Taxes. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Sulfur Elemental, also good against Death and Taxes. Yeah, I know. I beat that card. Did you? Yeah. It's not... It ain't no thing. You just brought out a bunch of your X-1s. Oh, sure. And then you have Mirror and Crusader, and then he attacks for six power. But you could just say the same thing for, uh, is it Static Gasser? You just attack it the same way. Yeah, but I mean, if you're Elves, you can't board out your X-1s. No, if you're Elves, you, I don't know what you Plus do. Plus like. your X-1s are really good. Uh, in, in Death and Texas? Miracles. Oh, yeah. Like, Ma Mom is good. Thalia yes. is good. Thalia is very good. Thalia is very strong. Flicker Wisp ain't bad. Who? Flicker Wisp. Uh, Flicker Wisp is okay. He's not great, but he's aight. Both players shuffling up here for game two. Talia trying to jump the gun there. Doesn't want her opponent to cut her deck. Round two. Took a little bit longer. What was going on there? I feel like round one we uh, just blew by. A lot of matches. A, the game at the end was blue-white red control yeah. versus uh, blue-white Tron. Wow, so somebody somebody's playing the Jeskai control list, huh? Yeah, Michael Bernat, he's 2-0. Wow, okay. Yeah. After round two? Yep. He's 2-0, Peter Tragos 2-0, nice. Alex Zorowski, as we saw, 2-0, Alex Akropin, 2-0, Ryan Forsberg, 2-0. Some of the names I have. Noah Cohen went to 1-1? One one. What yeah, did he lose to? Uh, I'll probably just an actual any, deck. Any deck that had blue? Yeah, it wasn't a blue deck. He said he didn't lose to Mana Leak, but uh, he just lost to an actual deck. Did you ask him if he lost to anything that said counter target on it? <laughs> just printed anywhere on the card? Or remove your graveyard from the game, which there are a million <laughs> cards that do that. Caleb mulliganing again. Mulliganed last game and was able to still turn three Natalia. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We've got seven rounds of Modern here tonight. Today. Still, I guess, the morning. Well, it's past noon. Yeah. Crack open the beer. Crack open the beer? Man. Yeah. I'm I had a 19% root beer yesterday. Really? Was it good? <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Was it really? So here's my thing with, like, root beers and hard ciders. I feel like the alcohol aspect of it is fine, right? Mm -hmm. Like, their percentages are usually spot on, and, like, the the flavor of the, the liquor or the beer is never that strong. It's the the way they try to mask it. Oh, it's just so much sugar. Right, that, and oh that's what God. I don't like. Yeah, you can have one before you go into a diabetic coma. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, and people can't... are like, yeah, you should try this, like, root beer crow. It's got alcohol in them. Like, I, 
I really don't want to, though. Like, I, I think I could just have, like, a regular regular stout and be fine, but... All right, so here's a scalding tarn from Natalia. She's going to fetch up an island. Zendikar Islands. I'm not, like I said, not a full art fan. No. I like no. Cup Island. I'm okay, Natalia. Good land. Cup Island's sweet. <laughs> Is that what it's called? I, yeah. Cup Island or Bowl Island? She looks like she's looking at Gurmag Angler... And I don't know what the other card is. Maybe it might be a Vapor Snag. I, I wanted to mention, too, last game, can we talk about the uh, the balls on Caleb there where both of the lands he fetched were basic and he didn't even bother to get, like, a Steam Vents? I feel like that's one of the things I always do in this deck is is my first land's always a Steam Vent. But I guess maybe you don't need to. Watching yeah. him play now, it might just not be necessary to do yourself that much damage. So, Scalding Tarn on the other side of the table, fetching an island. How do you like those lands? Uh, they're fine. I'm not a big fan of them either. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a, just give me a betas or... Here's the thing. Give me a land that looks like a land. I like the art. Hate the border. Yeah, not a border. No. I hate that border. Like the art, though. The art on those lands is is nice. So Serum Vision looking at, I believe, Misty Rainforest and Sleight of Hand. Uh, what do we want? I'm going to keep them both. All right. Putting the Serum Visions on? What do we put on uh, top? Sleight of Hand was put Sleight on Sleight of Hand top. on top. Talia is going to draw for turn. Going to mull over what she wants to do. Drew, drew a polluted delta for the turn. She's going to use that polluted delta. Go to 18 and fetch up a land. No targeted, no discard from Natalia in this deck. I mean, Coligan's command, I guess. But sure. We just have to go. <laughs> yeah, I got to stretch, man. My body's <laughs> old and creaking up. So I'm big here. I got to move. She's going to get a swamp. Are we trying to trying to throw out one of our Tassies right here? Tassie she has a Gurmag angler in hand. She can't cast Tassiger uh, unless she get probes. Mm. So she's going to Thought Scour. No. Those Polluted Delta and Pyromancer and draws. So now she can cast a Gurmag angler, which she has. There we go. And so he's a clock. a clock. He is a clock. Pyromancer's is ascension for Caleb, though. Featuring clock. He also has a goblin or an electromancer. It's gonna so. take one. Drop to eighteen. Eighteen. Doesn't change the clock at all. There's pyromancers. I like that. Ship it. Gurmag Angler is a big dude. Yeah, he is. Yes, he is. Steam vents. Steam vents. Sixteen. Jeez. Bash. Take five. Go to thirteen. I love the art on Gurmag Angler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old Gurmag. So Natalia, three lines up. Could be re representing Manalik and Spell Snare. I think you got to be worried about Vendillion Click here too. Possible. Looks like she has Negate and Vendillion Click. So she's oh, got them both. Jeez. She's playing the good Negates too. No, I hate Full Art. Are you Full Art cards me? are even worse than Full Art lands. Full art cards are the worst. Okay. Like, right. full art cryptic command is just offensive. The card is super confusing. It has four modes, and you're going to make a textless card? Come on. <laughs> Life must be difficult for you. It is. It, it must be really tough for you. So, sleight of hand. He finds a grape shot. He's got another sleight of hand, so this will trigger Pyromancer's Ascension. Yeah, it will. Talia is going to let it resolve. Caleb, he's going to look at a Pyromancer's Ascension and a Scalding Tarn. Take the Tarn. Take the Tarn. Yeah. He's going to run back another sleight of hand. Oh, dang. Jeez. <laughs> and we're doing it. Well, not yet. No. No, we're not, not yet. yet. We're, we're, our Pyromancer's Ascension's set up, but we're definitely not doing it. This V-Click has me worried now because we're, we're taking a lot of damage off of trying to get our graveyard filled up and this thing popped and yeah, I mean we just had a lightning bolt out. <laughs> right. That's a super good V click. As it definitely shows our hand of let me kill you next turn. Yeah, good good possibility. Takes the probe. Uh, which is fine. Right. That's what we want to take. I don't actually I don't know. Maybe you take the grape shot, but I kinda like taking grape shot. But I mean uh, we're going to be dealing a ton of damage here. Well, you should, now, now he's just dead. She's yeah, the bolt. the bolt. Wow. Holy yeah, cow. Bolt Good draw. I think she might have had one, too. Think she really? Had dose bolt ace. Yeah, I think she had two bolts. The the infamous double bolt. Double bolt. So that's a... Uh, uh, 
for some reason though, like had she not, like I guess if the V click wasn't there, that. <laughs> well, I mean, he, she still could. If she had two bolts, she could have germagged him and then double bolted him. And then, if she had a land, she oh, had okay. red source, yeah. though. Interesting. So what do you think makes Storm good now? Why do you think it's just I, because... Just because, like, the decks that are good or, like, people, the, what, quote-unquote, best decks, like, yeah. Bloom doesn't interact with you. Sure. Tron doesn't interact with you. Um, like, I thought, think that it was not so great... Uh, at the t I don't think it's so, super great when Jund and Abzan are super popular or, like, decks that are faster than you, like, yeah. Infect is faster than you. They're a consistent turn three kill. Yes. Or, like, you can turn three kill people, but... You but it's much... To, it's, yeah. it's harder. No, my... I remember playing against Infect. My matchup was terrible yeah. when I was playing uh, Storm. Coincidentally, I remember playing against, uh, like, the Pox Loam decks, too. And the matchup isn't great there, but... If they if they're just doing nothing, like if they don't have the that's, that's what the deck does. It does nothing. It it really. I mean, the only way that deck does well is if they're like turn one Inquisition, you turn two like pox you, and you're like, all right, I'm in a bad spot. But if they're like turn one nothing, turn two zombie infestation, you're like, all right, all your right, deck, your deck is a pile. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna cast Power Mancer's Ascension and kill you in a turn. Yeah, I'll be right back. Don't particularly yeah. like those decks. Don't think they're particularly I, good. I think the People are switching back now to the more aggressive, like, Vengevine versions, and I'm okay with those, because they do they have do more inter... Right, they there is more interact. Right, yeah. correct. I mean, Vengevine's a solid card in a format where you can ditch things for advantage and recur them very easily. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, though, I'm, I'm not sure. That looks like a good hand for Caleb. Yeah, he's missing a red source. Natalia shows V-Click, Snapcaster Mage, Gitaxian Probe, Dispel... So, Probe, Dispel, V-Click, Snapcaster Mage, and three lands. Yeah. So, some interaction, but not much interaction. No clock, either, which is a problem, I think. And there's a Lightning Bolt from Caleb, so he is just desperately looking for, I think, a red source of mana, plus a Pyromancer. Well, there's, so there's two red sources for him. <clears throat> Taking the Steam Vent seems smart. All right. I don't think he took either of them. I think he shipped both of them. What? I thought he put the, the reef on the bottom, kept the steam vents on top. Possible. I thought. I don't know those quick cat-like eyes like you. I don't know. You read you read the hands better than I do, man. I can't. I play more magic than you do. You do. You definitely Barely, do. but... I got to play a game of EDH yesterday. Oh, dang. Combo killed people. Nice. On the, on the five. <laughs> so that was nice. Felt good about myself. Okay, Natalia drew a pyromancer for the turn. It's not bad with the card she has in her hand, but... I don't know if it's going to get there. She only had islands, didn't she? Or did she have a red source also? Uh, she has a fetch lands. So she can get a red source. Evil Ben Slewa is saying he top bottom also. Thanks, Ben Slewa. Ben Slewa, also with those cat like eyes. So he did. does draw. Sleight of hand. The, sl the Steam Vance. Just now looking for. I think Pyromancer or. I'm not Pyromancer. Electromancer or. Uh, oh, geez, look at this. The cantrips are real. There's a Goblin Electromancer and a Ritual? Yeah, but he just doesn't... He uh, doesn't have Pass in Flames. Doesn't have Pyromancer's Ascension. But once again, Natalia not doing anything. Right, there's just no threat. No threat. I think she's safe to tap out next turn, and I don't think there's a fear of dying. You might be able to... Uh, you might be able to kill somebody. With, if you play Pyromancer's Ascension, and then can you kill somebody with three lands? Is that possible? Yeah. I mean, it's it's very difficult, especially when he has no Steam Vents or Shivan Reefs at this point. You know what I mean? We're working with just Soul Islands. He has a Steam Vents in his hand. I, I understand that. I'm, and a Mountain. You're asking me if we can kill somebody with three lands where one of the lands is produces two of our colors and the other two produce only one? It's very difficult. Yeah, we'll see, so we'll see what Natalia's line is here. I imagine it has to just be get a clock on the board, and <laughs> Young Pyromancer is that clock. So you can even Pyromancer get Probe to get a guy. Yep. And put him on a six-turn clock. I mean, we could definitely accelerate it. We could Pyromancer, Probe... So that doesn't make sense to me. Why aren't we young I, Pyro first? Yeah, I don't... I think you have to put a clock on the table. If you just sit here and let him sculpt his hand, you're just going to get crushed. Right. Because he's going to be able to fight through your gear counter spells, I think. I mean, I guess now she knows that he has the Bolt... Yeah. But I don't know what that does for us. Yeah, unfortunately for Caleb, he won't be able to, like, 
Pyromancer. Uh, he won't be able to cast an Electromancer and Bolt if Natalia does play a uh, a young Pyromancer, just because he played that island last turn instead of the Steam Vents. Looks like she's going to fetch. Go to 16. I imagine she has to cast a Pyromancer here, which is going is super awkward, uh, since she now lost a little bit of value th with that probe. Right. So, looks like she's going to Serum Visions instead. So, hmm. still no clock. So, Are we just hoping to draw into something to, like... Well, there's Tassiter. There's, oh. there's two good ones. That seems all right. Counterflux and a Mana Leak seem pretty good. Keeping that Counterflux seems okay. <laughs> there's a Pyretic Ritual. Jeez, what is happening? Oh my god! All of the robots are going nuts, man! What is this? Look at this! I can't even... People are just going bananas! Oh my gosh! So Electromancer for Caleb on his turn still needs a way to, like, get through his decks and, and uh, you know, accumulate Storm. Yeah. Natalia plays a Watery Grave. She's gonna shock. Pass it back. I think now we just battle... Oh, right, there's an empty. <laughs> so that's uh, that's a way to get guys on the table. It's a way to kill her. We were missing. Isn't she one mana short of overloading the counterflux though? Yeah, but w overloading the counterflux very rarely does anything. <laughs> you know, how often is overloading the counterflux good? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the uh, the MTGO clip where that happens. <laughs> the guy's opponent just straight disconnects. <laughs> Caleb's gonna shock. He's gonna go to sixteen. It's like he's gonna try to storm off here. Oh, time! Time for the counter. I guess counterflux is pretty good against storm. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Overloading it is pretty good. Yeah, hundred percent. That, hundred <laughs> percent. I, I forgot that it makes multiple copies, and you only target one. <laughs> Uh, so Caleb, oh, uh, I think, is going to make a million goblins here. He's he's definitely trying to... He's making a bunch of mana. So... Oh, Can we, like, bolt her, grape shot her? I think the play is to bolt, then grape shot, and then empty the warrens. But he's taking the different approach here. Is this, like, an empty for... Uh, one, two... Yeah, I think we have storm count is two. So two. We'll get six goblins if this resolves? Yeah. I kind of like grape shotting and bolting. <laughs> in, if in, we can. if We sure. I, we might not have the mana. Well, you want to bolt first. All right, so counterflux one. All right, sweet. Uh, you got one copy. Yep. You made two goblins. Or is it four goblins? Four goblins. Dope. Yep. It's going to reach through. We totally know. Oh, we got goblins. We should have goblins. For sure. Goblin Rabble Master, man. Yeah, they make goblins. Got a million oh, dragons those goblins. Never seen play. There they are. These goblins are live, and now Storm Count's at four currently. Yeah, so we can still gra grape shot. We can, we can bolt and grape shot. So bolt you, put you at eleven. Storm Count's at five. Grape shot targeting you for six. Down to five now. Take you down to three. Oh, baby! The dream is real! Goblin Electromancer! Yeah. Just carrying this the team. This had a counter spells. Yeah, seriously. So you can play a Pyromancer and... I don't yeah, we, we can't. Yeah, we can't cast anything. We're, we're dead to Goblin. We can play Legion. a Tassiger. Play a Tassiger and a Pyromancer. And then maybe if we can play a, land in a spell, we get three blockers. So then we can block everything, put two goblins, and go to one. Mm -hmm. So that's an out. Have a tassie. Fortunately, I just don't think she has a one-mana spell in her hand. So I... Caleb on the dice, too. Good man. He's spot on with that. He's been here before. This isn't his first rodeo. Apparently we have an earthquake in Illinois here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Guys, if you're just joining us, this is round three of seven for the SCG Super IQ, hosted by Nerd Rage Gaming. It's modern today. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, my co-host, Matt Dow. So, I wonder if Caleb could have made more guys last turn if he had bolted. But why would you Why would you get greedy? Well, like, if we're going to bolt in Grape Shot anyways, okay. might as well make more goblins, too, you know? We could have bolted before we did it. I, uh, I think that goblins. I think that was a good line. I I don't know if I. W I wonder if there's a card he was playing around. It's p possible. There's no there's no like fluster storm like card in this format. Counterflux is the only fluster yeah, storm you, like card. Yeah, and you can't That's overload it. it. Right. She couldn't overload it. She needed one more mana. It's I believe uh, it's one red, two blue, one colorless to yep. overload. Another card I think is awesome. I love that. I the flavor of that card, seeing as how it is an almost direct copy of Last Word, is super cool to me. And the fact that you can overload it makes it great. I think the only other card I can think of that, that's overloaded that I like better is Cyclonic Rift. Because that card is a... <laughs> it's like evacuation, <laughs> except great, because it doesn't bounce my guys. Sure, I'll take it. I don't know what her... So, uh, so she two. did find the land. Unfortunately, she has to fetch. Well, yeah, this isn't good, though, because we needed to be at one, right? We, yeah, we need to still be at three, because I don't think she can make more than... I think the most blocker she can make is... Ooh, unless there's a static caster. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, if there's a static caster, we just win. <laughs> unless you top text bolt. That's true. Or, I guess, well, spell grape shot yeah. also kills us. So now it looks like it'll be a pyromancer. Okay. Tassie Town? Do, or do if we need we a spell to cast? lightning bolt also... I mean, if we have any removal spell, it's great. Yeah. Obviously. Needs to exiles three more. All right, living a serum visions. He's gonna ship it back. Caleb gonna draw. So we're saying that we have bolt. That's what we want to Attack, present. And she's yeah, out. all right. Well, that was a good game. Caleb did draw lightning bolt. <laughs> did he <laughs> so really? Did it matter? Oh, <laughs> pretty sure he drew lightning bolt. That seems good. Yeah. So. Caleb gonna pick it up. Two one over Natalia. That was a good game. That was actually a really fun round to watch. Storm 3 now. I can't believe that. See, Storm is a, a deck that makes sense to me. What do you mean? In terms of, like, how the combo works. Okay. Amulet Bloom doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, you played against Am you, you played against Amulet Bloom yesterday. Yeah, I know you were just goofing around. around. Yeah, and, and I thought that's when you took the time to, like, try and, no, try and dissect it. I know but, how it works, but yeah. pss, pss, the way, like, watching Alexander Hain play the deck uh, at the GP was, was good because he is, like, you know, very methodical about what he's doing. Sure. So instead of, like, people will be like, okay, I'm going to, you know, cast Summer Bloom, and then uh, with Amulet of Vigor, he, like, don't don't announce their triggers. Yep. And they're just like, I'm going to make six mana. And you're like, okay, well, you got to go back. I don't I don't understand what's going on. Sure. He was, like, physically untapping his lands and tapping them and, you know, making, sh making sure that uh, every trigger was actually physically executed on the board. Mm -hmm. so. Which is important, I think, with those types yeah, of decks. Yeah, the deck is confusing uh, otherwise. Oh, 100%. Know? I remember watching, uh, like, two years ago, watching Eggs being executed online, and that was the infamous, like, Brian Kibler's playing, then calls yeah. the judge, so he comes to sit down while Brian Kibler goes to the bathroom. Yeah. And I had no idea. I was completely lost. Yeah. And I didn't even know if the guy could win. Like, I'm... I understood the end game. I knew what we were trying to get to. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had to go through 60 hoops to get there. Yeah, that tech was awful. Yeah, it was very, very hard to watch. Uh -oh. The robots are the bad. The robots are bad. <laughs> <laughs> really, 